Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It's Trixie here with Pick a Trix. I am going to be getting a February 2023 reading going for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Please check out all of your big four to get a total picture by going over to the channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And as always, thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on the channel as well. I'm going to be using the Mystical Moments to row here today, and I'm going to clarify with the everyday tarot here Taurus and then I will wrap up the reading with a fairy oracle card at the end to close it out so Taurus this is just going to be all about February what's going on during Aquarius and the beginning of Pisces season and what you can expect each week all right so let's see here please keep in mind I'm not a licensed physician Taurus so if you're not feeling well seek out a doctor please take what resonates using your intuition and leave the rest behind all right Let's see here. Oh, Nine of Swords. Okay. So the first week is a Nine of Swords. The second week is a King of Swords in reverse. So you're really worried about something that you're actually holding back on. You're holding your tongue. You're keeping, keeping something to yourself close to your chest. You're really worried about how other people view this. Um, there could be like opinions or gossip in the first week of the month. And, um... We're going to keep going. Let's get some more cards here for the third and fourth week of the month. That's too many cards, Spirit. So let's go ahead and take these two that came out first. First one is the Ten of Cups. Okay. And the Two of Wands is the fourth. Wow. Okay. Um. So you have the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords in reverse, a Ten of Cups, and a Two of Wands. Um, so I do want to tell you here that I, whatever you're worried about, Taurus, whatever's like causing you anxiety and stress, um, a King of Swords on the bottom of the deck and the right up. Now this deck has uh, 83 deck cards. There is a masculine and a feminine figure for both the... Um, or excuse me, all four of the kings and the emperor. And you do have a king of swords on the bottom of the deck. So there's something that's going on about speaking a truth, bringing something into the light. Um, <clears throat> you could have somebody in your life. All right. So the queen of cups in reverse. The king of swords again in reverse. And the ten of wands in reverse, clarifying this nine of swords. Oh, okay. Um, give me a second because one of my headsets is actually running out of battery. I'm not sure which one here, Taurus. Um, it does feel like, Taurus, you've run out of battery for something. You don't feel like um, that's a metaphor for you. I'm going to title that this, Low Battery you've um you don't have anything else to give to something you're holding back i feel like you're a little bit afraid to admit to your emotions or open up and be vulnerable about something this king and this queen are very much so at odds this queen of cups and this king of swords both in reverse and i feel like um there may be like a discussion or a conversation or even a Man, you feel very, uh, this involves kids too. If you feel like a mother, like a, a children, the, ch the children's mother is very, um, the maternal energy in this is very unemotionally just, they're just not, they're not present. This person is not opening up Taurus in a way that you're feeling or wanting. There's something here about holding back and not speaking some sort of truth in the first week of the month. It's actually quite a burden to speak this because I feel like you are insecure or you feel uncomfortable opening up about this. But I feel like what I need to tell you here is Spirit is saying that once you have this conversation in the first week of the month, it releases some sort of burden that you've been carrying on your shoulders. There's something that another person in your life, whatever this, whether you identify as the king of swords and you're holding back, 
um, your truth or the queen of cups and you're holding back your emotions and you may be in both of those energies you may have a really strong gemini placement in your head and your heart is trying to align and it feels a little bit burdensome for that alignment to occur i feel like you definitely feel like all eyes are on you when it comes to some sort of energy and you're really afraid of stepping outside of some sort of comfort zone the queen of wands here clarifying the second week of the month being the king of swords in reverse again tells me <clears throat> you may have some sort of conversation in the first week or you're like writing it down you're planning it out you're gathering your thoughts you're in more meditation and you're trying to really own your own heart and head and put it together and come into that alignment and I do feel like by the second week it's like you're not quite ready to speak a truth. You're not really ready to open up about something. Um, you know that you're trying to attract some type of energy into your life that is designed for you, that is meant to be in your life. It may be a feminine that's a fire sign. I don't know. This king, this king of swords, whatever this king of swords is that for you that represents, you can't see something that's coming in your direction. Um, I wish I, I, I hear you saying, I wish I could see the outcome. I wish I could see. Let me tell you what it is. It's rose colored glasses. You're about to avoid a tower moment in February, and I don't know what that means for you. Um, but with this energy where you feel burdened by something, the third week is going to open up an illusion. I do think you're going to have a lot of happiness and a lot of fun that week. And the nine of swords in reverse in the second week. Yeah, you're getting out of your head and you're going after what your soul desires. You like ache for something. You really need to get something off your chest. It's been in, it's just been taking up a lot of space in your mind and your soul and your body. Um, and when you finally get this off your chest, it's like, it's going to heal your broken heart. Man, I said that. The Ten of Cups in reverse and Justice came out together. I only needed one more card. So, yeah, I think you're, <laughs> you want to see the outcome of something. And I feel like telling you, you already know. That's why this is titled this. I feel like you're letting it unfold. Man, I've been there. I get it, Taurus. It's going to release you from some sort of entrapment, a self-imposed prison that you've put yourself in. You've isolated yourself in some way, shape, or form. And that's uh, put you in this place. Deeply spiritual people, Taurus. People who are like overly connected to the divine. They're just so tapped into their intuition. It's like every decision that they make, no matter how it turns out, they're capable of seeing the positive, the growth, the lesson in it. Those people tend to get kind of separated from the masses for a short period of time to really go within and reflect and attract what their soul truly desires because they know that if they desire something and it is meant for them, then it is meant for everybody in their life and that brings justice into the circumstance. And so I do see where um, you're having a breakthrough, okay? There's a massive breakthrough coming in here for you, Taurus, in the month of February, because you go from illusion to happiness. You go from disharmony to harmony. You uh, see something entirely for what it is by the end of the month. I'm seeing uh, Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Cups that just kind of reiterates what I've been saying. There's an illusion that has been created for you. Your mind is in chaos. And I, you know, Taurus, when you can't gather your thoughts or you're cycling or you're like, reanalyzing, trying to replay a conversation in your head, you're overthinking how to get to a more harmonious, peaceful state, you have to look at the energy that's involved. And because you're not the only person, the only connection or energy that is impacted, because this might not even be things, this could be possessions, this could be where somebody has um, a di an addiction with this Queen of Cups. I, I, um, I, I feel a little bit here and I'm going to say this and this is going to be, this might trigger you that, to go into this path, but you need to hear this. The King of Swords and a Queen of Cups, both in reverse, that is emotional manipulation all day long. Paired with this Nine of Swords, that's where somebody is being beat down in a situation to the point where they feel powerless. They feel like the only way to move forward is to give up, to put it all down, to let it go, to be done. Okay. I don't know what that symbolizes for you, but in the first week, I do feel like that is a vibe for you. You feel beat down. You feel like no matter what you say or do or, or admit to feeling or when you get vulnerable, it's just like somebody's somebody's judging a situation. It might not be you. You might be the person causing this nine of swords on somebody, but there's a lot of anxiety in the first week of the month, Taurus. And then in the second week, it's like, 
I think you're seeing the reality of what you've attracted into your life, your own actions, Taurus, how you've brought this into your life, um, how it showed up, why it showed up, what's going on here. Some of you have an air sign. You don't even know that this person's an air sign. They're a covert air sign. They might even have like a hidden water placement that's really prominent. And this energy for you, whether this might be you, it might be you and it might be somebody else, but this energy is kind of dangerous for you. It keeps you in a state of pause, okay? Um, Seven of Pentacles and the, the Ten of Cups here uh, in the third week of the month, Taurus. Let's get some more energy for that. So we have the King of Cups. Oh, the Hermit. Man, you're coming out of a state of, like, fruitlessness. You're coming out of a state of disharmony by the third week. I, You're going to have a really big breakthrough and you're going to celebrate by the end of the month because I feel like something is is ending. Like you're taking the, the reins back. You're partnering with people and connections and places and investments that feel more at peace, more at harmony. There's a big old delivery in the third week of the month that comes in. The set like because you've let go of what does not prosper, what does not bear fruit. And you're embracing something that's going to be very emotionally stable. You come from a very emotionally manipulative situation where you feel like um, you're in a lot of pain. You're bearing a lot of weight. And you go into something that feels very positive. It feels like a connection that is uh, guiding you towards your true north. Okay. But it is requiring you to let go of some fear. To invest in something or someone that is outside your norm, outside your box. There could be a Virgo in your life that you might reach out to. There's a water sign here. There's a water sign, earth sign, um, a water sign, air sign, you know, an, a fire sign, an air sign. There's something here about balance coming into your life. I think you're going to extend an apology to somebody even, Taurus. The Hierophant, damn, in reverse. Mm, with the two of wands, Yeah. There's some rose-colored glasses coming off here. There's an ending of a karmic contract at the fourth week of the month. You're very crystal clear in the third week, Taurus. You know exactly what's coming, what needs to come, what you need to do, what you need to say, how you need to feel. Um, and it guides you down a path that's unexpected. You put an end to something. You don't want to spend your birthday season like that, I'm hearing. Okay. Um, the Eight of Cups, yeah, you're walking away in the fourth week of the month. You're walking away from something or somebody, some type of karmic contract. You've poured all that you can into the situation. I feel like it's just, it's really torn you down. It's made you feel almost bitter and jaded. Don't feel that way, Taurus. Uh, this was just, this was a karmic contract that you both had to go through. Yeah, Page of Swords here. You're a new initiate. You have a new idea. You're released from something. You know that went that you know that everything that you have built up to this point in the fourth week of the month, you can rebuild it wherever you're going. You just have to be willing to let the universe um, put on your cute little winged shoes there and take you where you're meant to go. It does require some massive change, some massive let go here with your own energy and the Taurian energy, because the whole world is in your hands. What do you want to show up for you? Are you gonna go after it? And I do feel like February is really about you recognizing that you have low battery when it comes to someone or something. Oh my gosh, the lovers is on the bottom of the deck. Head over heart decision is what your entire month is about. This is the month about love. You know, we have Valentine's Day uh, this month. And so <clears throat> something for you is popping off at the same time that something is closing out, okay? Uh, some of you need to go get a sunstone, carry it in your pocket, put it in your wallet, get it wrapped, wear it as a pendant, something like that going to really benefit you in the future okay um let's see what the fairies have to say here for the whole month close out this reading for you your reading came through really powerfully Taurus I see something that you're struggling to see and this message really was here to guide you to follow your intuition to attract what you actually desire to sit in silence and reevaluate the things that have been spoken to you the things that you have been speaking how somebody or something might be pulling away from you at the same time that you're pulling away from something as well um there's definitely an energy here of like push and pull you might go research throughout the month of february the law of polarity the law of cause and effect i do see where there are a king and a queen of cups here that are just at odds, okay? There's something here about these two people being at odds. 
Um, <clears throat> somebody's turning their back to another person. The King of Swords is in reverse twice. So there is definitely some, some um, need to change language, to change verbiage. There's miscommunication going on. And, uh, and it is your responsibility, Taurus, to recognize your own words in this and how they might be impacting people negatively or positively, okay? And, um, you know, it's not just other people, Taurus. It's also you. Let's go ahead and get the Fairy Oracle here, though. Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Yeah, I got to go back to that. There's somebody here that doesn't doesn't wish you well. This energy, I feel like chaos kind of ensues every time that this energy is in your life. Like things might break or tree branches fall on your roof really loudly and kind of scare you. Or there's something here where... The first half of February, you're waking up to the reality, and the second half, you're you're figuring out how to get out of a situation. It's not a, it's like almost a self-imposed prison is what I'm hearing, but it's not at the same time. It's like a reality that you're just like seeing for what it is uh, in the second half of the month, and it really frees you. It really allows you to walk away um, and not look back, not feel guilt or fear, because I think you're understanding that anything that confuses you or makes you feel guilty or shameful or unsafe to express your emotions and your feelings, that energy is karmic, okay? The love of your life, if this is about love, the career of your life is going to embrace all your abilities, all your aspirations and support you and propel you forward. And I feel like some of you really need to focus on your friends because there's somebody in your life that your friends could introduce you to that is a much better pair if you're in a relationship right now. If you're in a relationship and everything's going peachy, this is probably career based. Okay, you're probably emotionally attached to some sort of promotion and your friends that work with you versus your friends that don't work with you can help you see another avenue, okay? But there's just something here about an emotional attachment, some emotional manipulation. Words are being held back. They're not being spoken truly. Um, there's a little bit of beguiling, okay? Smoke and mirrors. And that smoke and mirrors is being cleared with the Ten of Cups twice, both in reverse and in the positive, as well as a Two of Wands and an Eight of Cups. With the Hierophant in reverse, it just clarifies this month is really about you letting go of some sort of karmic contract in your life. And boldly, um, fearlessly. You're ready for it. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please check out all of your big four to get a total picture for the month of February. I'll get it to you next time. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on the channel.